Yeah, we're getting ready for the Wagstra meetup. Leaving tomorrow. Leslie's over here like a like a chemist. <laughs> Cooking up jello shots. Which flavor are you cooking up right now? This is lemon vodka. Lemon vodka. What other flavors we got going on? We have a strawberry vodka. Okay. Cherry fireball. Black cherry fireball. And we're going to have peach, peach crown. Oh. Yeah. Double peach. Double peach. Peach with peach crown. Yeah. We'll show you some of the final products once we get done. And we're, we got some goodie bags that we yes. put together for the Wagsters. So we'll show you that, yes. and uh, it's gonna be a really cool week. We can't wait. It is. It's gonna be lots of fun. And I forgot to get you the extra box of Jello. Uh, okay, it's all good. <laughs> is that what you told me while I was driving, I, yeah, and I couldn't put it on the list, down. and it didn't get remembered? It's all good. That's how it goes. Just wanted it for backup. <laughs> Look at all this that Leslie has prepared for the <laughs> for the meetup. Little well, bags. Welcome to the party bag. Welcome. What's in them? Well. We got adult drink pouches. Yes. With straws. What does it say? Bendy straws. I'm not slurring my oh, words. I'm no. talking in cursive. And don't give a sip. sip. There's other ones that say different things. Different but things. Yeah. We got shot glass necklaces. Yeah, that'll be awesome because we do we're going to the distilleries. Yeah. And at the end of every day, we're bringing our bottles and put them on the table and everybody can sample. So you'll have your little... They have a little cup that you can <laughs> you can sip and get a new one and, and uh, you That's can do your sample in through that. That's cool. We got way red cups. Yay. For your regular beverages. And then everybody's going to get a set of way red cups. Yeah, red, white, or yeah, red, red white, red, and black. black. Yeah. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah. And then we got some games. We got some giveaways. Yes. We got some adventures. Yes. We got all kinds of cool stuff going on for this meetup. It's going to be a week filled a donation. with fun. And we're doing a donation. Yeah. With our Wagsters. It's going to be so awesome. Can't wait. Biggest donation ever. Yeah, so we take off tomorrow morning, head that way, mm -hmm. uh, Georgetown, Kentucky, Lexington area. Yep. And uh, we're going to have 20-something Wagsters with us. 22. 22 Wagsters with mm -hmm. us from all over the country and Canada. Canada. We're, <laughs> we're, international. we're international, baby. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be so much fun. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Can't wait to show you what all we get into. Yes. Well, I'm out here dumping the tanks for the very last time at a Thousand Trails campground. And uh, thank God it's the last time at this campground. You can't really tell that, but this sewer hose is uphill. Uphill. And you know, they used to tell me when I was in the military that shit rolls downhill. And they were right. It only rolls downhill. It does not roll uphill very well. So I'm not sure who designs these RV parks. But here's a little tip. If you are thinking about building your own RV park, owning your own RV park, look, no blind side back ends and no uphill sewer connections. Those two things are the biggest two pains in the ass. Uh, that you can possibly get into when you are getting into an RV park. The sites here are spacious, they're graveled, they're nice, but there's there's no reason to have a blindside back end because all you would have to do is just angle your spaces the other direction. And there's no reason to have your sewer connections uphill. Just level off or make that part downhill a little bit too easy but hey who am i i'm just a simple man trying to get my shit to go uphill i can't believe it's already been over two years since we yeah. got our rv mattress by brooklyn bedding and our sleep has been great phenomenal it's been crazy life-changing sleep impacts your posture mm -hmm. your mood and your overall health yes and when it comes to that stuff you really don't want to rely on the plywood like mattresses <laughs> that come in rvs when you buy your rv brand new yeah so we have the aurora lux mm -hmm. from rv mattress with the cooling technology that keeps our bodies at a perfect 88 degree sleeping temperature yes and we also have their cooling pillows 
their bamboo cotton sheets and the weighted blanket. We love it so much that we even got a mattress from my mom. Mm -hmm. And she's loving it too. And she doesn't live in an RV. Exactly. Which goes to show you, you don't have to live in an RV to buy an RV mattress from Brooklyn Bedding. They're for everybody and they come in regular sizes or RV sizes. An RV mattress by Brooklyn Bedding also offers you a 120 night sleep trial, 10 year warranty, and free shipping from their factory in Arizona. The best part of all of it is we can save you 25% all you have to do is click on the link in the description of this video, go over to RV Mattress by Brooklyn Bedding, and type in the promo code WAGS at checkout. Much better travel day today. Much better. <clears throat> yeah, it was very smooth. Very smooth. This is probably one of the smoothest travel days we've ever, ever had. Yeah. Right after one of the worst, <laughs> roughest travel days we've ever had. Yeah. But today was only a couple hours. It was. Mostly I-75. Yeah, South. 74 to 75, I think. Yeah. And then it was actually nice roads. It wasn't bad. We came in, everything's yeah. where it's supposed to be. Nothing shifted. Nothing was beat up. Yeah. But it is hot. It says it is 98 degrees outside and it is 85 inside. We had an air conditioner running while we were traveling. Yeah. Now we got the other two running. It's been running for about a half an hour. Yeah. And it's still 85 inside with three air conditioners going. Yeah. It is hot. Well, it was 89 when I came in the rig, so. Yeah. It's going to take some time. Stout had a good day. Yeah. <laughs> good travel day for him. And now he's back here guarding the, the road <laughs> and monitoring everyone coming into the park. Yep. Making sure everybody stays in line. He had his mouth open a minute ago because he's hot too. So we don't even have his lights on right now because he's already warm enough. I know, I know. I'll take the camera off of you. God, quit judging me. <laughs> Always judging. All right, I'm gonna brave the heat. Okay. I'm gonna go outside, walk around so that everybody can see our site. And this is a great campground. I like it a lot. Whispering Hills RV Park in Georgetown, Kentucky. Yeah. This is really cool. We picked a great spot we did. for the meetup. And when I say we. <laughs> All right. Hey, check this out. What? Three more travel days. <laughs> we can't say that very loud because no one else knows yet. And there's wagsters that are around. Yeah. But yeah, three more to oh. go. <laughs> <Three>. <laughs> I got it right on this one. Couldn't get it right on this one. We have a nice big gravel pull through. So we have, you know, neighbors over here, neighbors over here. Um, several of our uh, Wagsters already in here, but today's show up day. So not everybody's here yet. Nice, flat, big spots, plenty of spot for the truck and downhill sewer hose. Not have to back in on the blind side. Total opposite of last time. So last time it was like, Everything got strewn all over the place. Blind side back in, uphill sewer hose. This is the exact opposite. Yeah. So I'm digging it. I am too. We're here for a week. Yep. And then we're off to Knoxville. Mm -hmm. And then that's really like our last. So we're there yeah. for a week and then we have overnight before we get back to Alabama, but that's it. And once we're in Alabama, it's not moving. No, but good, sold. good spot here for one of our last stays. Yeah. Very cool spot. Yes, we're gonna have a great time. It's gonna be hot, but it's gonna be a great week. Let's go walk around. Okay. I just came out of the office here, and uh, so they have just great landscaping, architecture, stuff like this, where you get like these swings with the solo stove around it, and then you got checkers and chess, the big boards, and then you got the pool over here with basketball and slides and chairs and all kinds of stuff. The definitely the. The swimming pool slide is definitely, definitely happening. This is the pavilion that they have. And so this is where we're gonna be doing our RV Unplugged watch party with our Wagsters. And it's a couple degrees cooler in here because it's undercover. And then we'll be doing that in the evening times too. But it leads out to this big open pond area back here. And they do allow fishing back here, catch and release and don't require a fishing license because it's on private property so that's really nice we'll probably set up the cornhole boards in here to have people playing this is where we'll have our meals in the evening times hanging out and this is just gonna be really cool they got just the lighting up here um they have this tv but 
I see this screen right here and we have a projector so we'll probably just project the uh, RV Unplugged episode right up there for everybody to watch. This is going to be such a fun time. We can't wait. We got more Wagsters showing up. I think that almost this whole, almost this whole row is going to be Wagsters before, before all is said and done. And we got a couple in this row too. And uh, actually a couple of people in this row are people who are headed to the Adventure Bandits glamp out. Ashante and Talmadge are having a, 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 a glamp out and all about the banks and some other channels, the Carolina, what are they? Uh, don't get me lying about what their name is. We just met them. The Carolina Rollers. They're on their way over to the glamp out also. So it was great to meet them. And it looks like everybody's kind of meeting over here. Larry already got me uh, started on the plantains. So I already had a shot of, shot of whiskey. So let me get the camera off and start being cordial and hanging out with everybody. Look at that. Look at that. We've been out visiting with people for about an hour and walking around so I can show you around. It's only down to 84.9. It's 97.7 outside. But the good news is Scout seems a little cooler. A little cooler, buddy? Yeah, did you cool off a little bit? Hey, stick around for a few seconds. We're going to honor a fallen hero. If you want to get involved with helping us help veterans, everything you need to know is right down in the description of the video. Appreciate you watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.